Does anyone know if uh, Terry is coming? I'm here. Different Terry. I haven't heard anything. Does anyone know if uh, Terry is coming? I'm here. Different Terry. Oh, that was weird. I haven't heard anything. Oh, that goes. Lauren, I take it that when we're talking about Terry, we're talking about Councillor Terry Fellner? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Um, maybe we could get people who aren't speaking to mute their uh, microphones and we'll hopefully get a little less feedback. I think I'll just wait a couple of minutes to see if Terry Fellner appears. Yeah, he's been known to do that. However, uh, given the length of the agenda, maybe we shouldn't. There he is. Oh, Terry, you're here. Great. Okay, now that Mr. Fellner has made an appearance, we'll uh, call the meeting to order. Uh, could I have a mover and seconder to uh, open the meeting, please? Move. Terry and Karen. Okay. Wow. Oh. Moved by Terry, seconded by Karen, that the Committee of Adjustment of the Corporation of the Township of Seguin hereby convenes at 4 p.m. on Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. All in favor? Thank you. Okay. The Committee of Adjustment hereby convenes a public meeting as per the Planning Act. Applicants and the public can speak at the public meeting. Notices of the decision will be sent to applicants and the public if requested. Any person may appeal a decision or condition of approval within 20 days of the notice of decision. Now, could I have a mover and seconder for a motion to accept the agenda as circulated? Stuart and Greg. Good, everybody's got their name in the minutes now, so we're good to go. Moved by Stuart, seconded by Greg. The Committee of Adjustment Corporation of Township segment hereby approves the agenda for the April 14th, 2021. All in favor. Thank you. Okay. And I need a mover and seconder to accept the minutes of the previous meeting as circulated. Terry and Moved by Terry, seconded by Stewart, that the Committee of Adjustment for the Corporation of the Township of Segment hereby accepts as read and circulated the minutes of its last meeting that took place on Wednesday, March 10, 2021. Are there any errors, omissions, corrections to those minutes? All in favor? And that is carried. Okay. Now, where did Candace go? Hi. There she is. You moved on my screen. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Candace, welcome to the uh, segment and more particularly the Committee of Adjustment. Thank you very much, Chair and Committee. I'm excited to be with you. And uh, certainly I have a wealth of experience being on a Committee of Adjustment previously with the Town of Collingwood for many years. So I bring that experience and uh, yeah, I'm happy to be uh, 
hopefully if you uh, sign the resolutions for me to become secretary treasurer to this committee. Well, normally I would have come in and introduced myself to you, but these are not normal times. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay. Is Candace is our new I boss. Have, sorry? Is Candace our new boss? She is. Well, when... Actually, we get to vote on it, Stuart. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Could I have a mover and seconder to uh, appoint a new secretary treasurer? Karen and Stuart. That the Committee of Adjustment for the Corporation of the Township of Seguin hereby appoints Candace Bonder Bonderchuk. Did I pronounce that right? That's right. Senior planner for the Township of Seguin as the committee secretary treasurer. All in favor? And you are now at work. Great. Thank you. Okay. And could I have a mover and seconder to appoint a deputy secretary treasurer? Karen and Greg. That the Committee of Adjustment for the Township of Seguin hereby appoints Lauren Irvine, planner for the Township of Seguin, as the committee's deputy secretary. All in favor? And that's Karen. Congratulations, Lauren. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Now to business. Um, I would ask the secretary treasurer to introduce the first application. Thank you very much, Chair. Through to the committee. The purpose of minor variance application A2021-0006-H Cody is permitted is to permit a new boathouse requesting an increase in maximum lock coverage within the first 60 meters, as well as an increase in dock width and boathouse height. Through you, Chair, no, no correspondence was received to date. Okay, is there anyone that wishes to speak to this application? Nobody? Karen, I see you, I'm just waiting for the public. Okay, uh, any committee, committee members uh, wish to speak? Karen? I simply just had a question, uh, Chair, and that is, uh, what about the uh, committee, uh, the punicary interest that we always do, uh, oh. asking, asking our members regarding the disclosure of the pecuniary interest before we get into the uh, applications? I did miss that, didn't I? Yeah, you did. All right, we'll take a pause and ask if anyone has any pecuniary interest to disclose. None declared? Okay. All right, Thank we're you. good to go on this application. Thank you. Thank you. I have a question. Um, is this a one story boathouse? It is, Mr. Chair, what, just a one story. And why does it need a height variance? Because people build the applicant, houses without a height variance. The applicant's requesting the extra one meter um, so it can match the, the structure of their existing um, house. So they would like, they call it an old Muskoka style. So it's just an architect for, um, architectural design. <laughs> And there's, there's no accommodation or storage up above? No, you're correct. Hmm. Okay. Is there any other questions, comments? Okay, could I ask for a mover then, please? Stuart and Karen, I'll read the motion that the committee of adjustment hereby approves variance application a 2021-0006-h cody to construct a new boathouse and request the following variances to zoning bylaw 2006-125 table 
three sec section 6.3, table 6.3, maximum lot coverage. Maximum allowed is 7.5%, proposed is 10.1%, a variance of 2.6%. Section 4.28.2A, dock width allowed is 15.55 meters. Proposed is 18.3 meters and a variance of 2.75 meters. And section 4.28.1G, boathouse height, maximum allowed is five meters. Proposed is six meters, a variance of one meter. Uh, and subject to the following conditions, that the owner applies for and obtains a building permit within two years of the date of decision of the Committee of Adjustment. Are there any further comments, questions? <coughs> All in favor? And that is carried. Okay. For you, Chair, the application has been approved and the applicant will get a letter in the next few days uh, and the 20 PILA period starts. Thank you. Okay, I'll ask the Secretary Treasurer to introduce the second application. Thank you, Chair. The purpose of minor variance application number A-2021-0010 H Nullmeyer is to request a slight reduction in lot area as the result of a lot addition. No correspondence was received. And Chair, I believe we have uh, Chloe with us, agent on behalf of the applicant here to uh, provide a presentation. Okay, um, Chloe, would you like to speak to this or you yes. just wanna let us vote on it and get on with our lives? I do have a presentation prepared if that's all right. Yep, you're entitled to make your presentation. I'll just share my screen. And can everybody see that? Yes. yes. Perfect. Um, hello, um, Committee of Adjustment. I'm Chloe Spear, as Candace mentioned, planner at MHBC, and here to make a presentation on behalf of the applicant, uh, Ms. Catherine Nellmeyer. So the property subject to the minor variance application is 98B Mail Run in the Township of Severin. Figure one shows a location map of the property. Red star indicates the Township of Seguin Township Office and the purple star indicates the location of the subject property. The subject property is 11.8 hectares in size and has 386 meters of frontage along Lake Joseph. The property is currently designated shoreline residential in the Township of Seguin official plan and zone limited service residential in the Township of Seguin zoning bylaw. Council provisionally approved consent application B-2021-004-H on April 6, 2021, which proposed to remove 163 square meters from 98B Mail Run and add those lands to 31 High Point Drive. The LSR zone recognizes the existing lot areas as the minimum lot area. 98B Mail Run will be slightly decreased as a result um, so the purpose of this minor variance is to recognize that the lot area has been decreased from the standard of existing. Figure two okay. shows an- Are we ready to call the question then? Is that all you need to know? I think that's all we need to know. Okay. Could I have a mover and seconder for this, please? I'll move it. Craig, Terry. Okay, the Committee of Adjustment hereby approves variance application A2021-0010-H Nullmeyer, requesting the following variance to the zoning bylaw 2006-125. Section 6.3, table 6.3, 6.2, lot area minimum existing, uh, proposed is one one hundredth of a hectare less, the variance is one one hundredth of a hectare. All in favor? And that is carried. Okay. 
Again, through you, Chair, noting that there's the 20 day appeal period starts now. All right, I'll ask the Secretary Treasurer to introduce the third application. Thank you, Chair. Through to the committee, the purpose of minor variance application A 2021 0012 ends is to permit a dock addition requesting an increase in dock width and maximum combined surface area. No correspondence was received to date. Is there anyone wishes to speak to this application? Hi, uh, can you identify yourself and- uh... Yes, uh, my name is Terry Ledger. I'm agent for the applicant. Okay. Um, I'll be brief. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Thank uh... you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a uh, peninsula, so it's a large, uh, water frontage, but the cord frontage, of course, is much smaller. The applicants just want to add on a little bit extra width, width and dock area, and I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Okay, are there any members of the committee that have questions? None? Okay, could I have a mover and seconder for this application? Stuart and Karen. But the Committee of Adjustment hereby approves variance application A 2021 0012H ends to construct a dock addition and request the vari following variances bylaw 2006 125. Section 4.28.2A Maximum allowed 23 meters, proposed 26 meters, a variance of three meters and section 4.28.2 bracket E, maximum combined surface area, maximum allowed is 168 square meters, proposed as 195 square meters, carrying variance of 27 square meters. Subject to the following condition that the owner applies for and obtains a building permit within two years of the date of the decision of the Committee of Adjustment. Any questions? All in favor? And that's carried. The application has been approved and notice will be provided in the next few days for the 20 day appeal period. Okay. Uh, could I ask the Secretary Treasurer to introduce, introduce the fourth application? Thank you, Chair. The purpose of minor variance application number A 2021 0013H Bracken is to enclose an existing boat port to a boat slip. Correspondence was received from Mr. James Buchanan indicating no objection to the minor variance application. That's all, Chair. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone who wishes to speak to this application? Terry, you're up again. Yes, I am. Thank you. Terry Ledger, agent for the applicant. Uh, again, I'll be brief. It's uh, There are no provisions in the zoning bylaw to enclose two slips. So we are here asking for your permission. The lot frontage is sort of in between a two-story boathouse and a single story of the boat port. Uh, the boathouse is also located right in front of the uh, cottage. So we feel the impact will be minimal for closing it in. And the last reason would be for security, very close to the highway there. It's actually in the sight line. So the owner would like to be able to sort of lock it up. I'm here for any questions you may have. Thank you. Are there any committee members that wishes to speak? Terry? This is, this is a single story boathouse. So this is, because there was no, uh, there was a plan view I think, uh, but there's no profile. So I'm wondering what they did. There's no height yeah. being asked for, or no plans to, because it looks like it's a, construction's already commenced. Already. Uh, yes. Yeah. So uh, it was the the uh, permit was issued for the uh, boathouse with a boat port. We had right. actually only applied for a boathouse me forgetting that you don't have that uh, in the bylaw. So we had changed it to get the permit um, and nothing really changes except they're in, 
instead of having posts, there'd be walls. So there's no two stories. It was always meant to be a single story. There are no other um, variances required other than being able to close that in. Okay, thank you. Personally, I, I strongly object to this application. Uh, we've had this bylaw in effect since 2006. Everyone who has a lot between 60 and 90 meters has been uh, forced to build a boathouse with one enclosed, one boat, boat port. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really see a reason for us to change that. Um, large lots have to build two enclosed, one boat port, and we haven't given variances to that either. So I really don't see any reason to allow this, uh, this slip to be enclosed. It, when the bylaw was drafted, um, one of the goals was to minimize the bulk along the shoreline. And a boat port is far less invasive than uh, an enclosed slip. You can see through it, you can see light, water, trees, and it's much less invasive to the, uh, to the view of the lake. Um, and I really don't think we should go uh, along this path of approving an enclosed slip. Is there anyone else who would like to speak or ask a question? Karen? Can you tell me, Chair, has this ever been approved before by uh, Committee of Adjustment, Minor Variance, that you're aware of? I, I can't say never, but I, I've been on the committee for, I think, eight years now, and I don't remember approving one okay. uh, in that time. Thanks. Okay, uh, could I have a mover and seconder, please? I'll move it, Jim. Terry? And Greg? Okay, I'll read the motion. But the Committee of Adjustment hereby approves variance application A2021-0013H, bracket, to enclose an existing boat port to a boat slip, and request that the following variance to zoning bylaw 2006-125. Section 4.28.1, Table 4.4, Note 2. At least one of the permitted slips shall be a boat port. The maximum allowed is one enclosed slip, one boat port. Proposed is two enclosed slips, the variance being one enclosed slip. Subject to the following conditions, that the owner acknowledges that notwithstanding the issue and of a decision to approve this minor variation any altercation of the shoreline, including conduct of any work in furtherance of the development should be conducted in accordance with any federal and provincial laws or municipal bylaw affecting regulation of the shoreline, including without limitation bylaws 2008-103, 2008-104, 2008-105, and any amendments thereto. And two, that the owner applies for and obtains a building permit within two years of the date of decision of the Committee of Adjustment. All in favor. Then the motion is lost. Here are you, Chair. The application has been denied. He will get a letter in the next few days and the 20-day 20 20 appeal period starts. Sorry, if I may interrupt, I just, I can't see everybody. Was that a unanimous no? Yes, it was. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, ask the secretary treasurer to introduce the next application. Thank you, Chair. The purpose of minor variance application A-2021-0014-F was West is to permit the construction of a garage attached to the existing dwelling with a decreased rear yard setback and increase in lot coverage. No correspondence was received. Is there anyone that wishes to speak to this application? Hi, uh, it's, it's Tim West. I'm here, but I don't 
really think I need to speak to it if, if unless there's questions. Okay, thank you. Are there any uh, members have any questions? No? All right, could I have a mover and seconder for this application? Karen and Greg, read the application. The Committee of Adjustment hereby approves variance application A 2021-0014F West to construct a new two-car garage attached to the existing dwelling and requests the following variances from zoning bylaw 2006-125. Section 10.3, table 10.2, rear yard minimum. Required is 10 meters, existing is 9.3 meters, and the proposed is 5 meters, requiring a variance of 5 meters. Section 10.3, table 10.2, lot coverage. Um, maximum allowed is 5%. The proposal would be 6.5%, requiring a variance of 1.5% subject to the following conditions that the owner applies for and obtain a building permit within two years of the date of decision of the Committee of Adjustment. Any further questions? All in favor? And that's carried. Thank you, Chair. The application has been approved and notice will be sent in a few days uh, for the 20-day appeal period. Okay, I uh, could ask you to introduce the next application. I'd Thanks, Chair. Know. The purpose of minor variance application number A 2021 0015 M bins is to permit an addition for an enclosed sunroom and extension to an existing deck and a reduced front yard setback. A letter of, of support was received from Mr. Mark Young. That's all. Um, were there two letters of support on that one? Lauren, can you confirm? No, sorry, Candace. I think um, the the two letters of support was for the following application. Oh, okay. Not this right. one. Okay. Um, anyone here wishes to speak to this application? Um, it's Paul and Susan Biz. We don't wish to speak to anything, but if you have any questions, we're here to answer them. Thank you. Is there any member of the committee have any questions? No. Okay. Could I have a mover and seconder? Greg Stewart. Okay. The Committee of Adjustment hereby approves variance application A2021-0015-M bins to construct an addition for an enclosed sunroom, an extension to an existing deck with a reduced front yard setback, and request the following variance from zoning bylaw 2006-125. Section 6.3, table 6.2, front yard minimum. Mac Required is 20 meters, existing is 17.3 meters, and proposed is 15.2 meters, requiring a variance of 4.8 meters, 2.1 meters more than the existing, subject to the following conditions, that the owner applies for and obtains a building permit within two years of the date of decision of the Committee of Adjustment. Any further questions, comments? All in favor? And that is carried. Thank you, Chair. The application has been approved and the letter will be mailed when the 20-day appeal period starts. Okay. The seventh application. Number seven, Chair. The purpose of minor variance application number A-2021-0016 each Gebel is to permit construction of a new garage requesting an increase in lot coverage. No correspondence was received. Okay, is there anyone that wishes to speak to this application? Nobody? Okay, uh, any questions from committee members? Okay, could I have a mover and seconder, please? I'll move. Terry. 
Greg, thank you. It's getting harder when we get this money. <laughs> <laughs> Been this busy in a long time. The, the Committee of Adjustment hereby approves variance application A2021-0016-H, Gemmel, to construct a new garage and request the following variances to zoning bylaw 2006-125. Section 6.3, table 6.3, maximum lot coverage. Maximum allowed is 8%. The proposal is 8.3% requiring a variance of 0.3% subject to the following condition. The owner applies for and obtains a building permit within two years of the dated decision of the Committee of Adjustment. All in favor? And that's carried. Thank you, Chair. The application has the 20 deal appeal period starting now. Okay, and the last application. Thank you, Chair. Application number eight, the purpose of minor variance application number A-2021-0017-16 ANI Industrial Investment is to permit construction of a new garage with a reduced rear and side yard setback, as well as an increase in lot coverage and lot coverage within the first 60 meters. Correspondence in support of the application was received from Bob and Joanne Thompson and Kathy and Brian Mol Malloy. That's all, Chair. Thank you. Is there anyone that wishes to speak to this application? Uh, just Peter Tyndall here. Uh, just going to answer any questions if you have any. Okay, I'm thank you. All right. Does any Committee of Adjustment members have any questions? None. Okay, can I have a mover and seconder, please? Stuart and Karen. But the Committee of Adjustment hereby approves variance application A2021 0017 C, A and I Industrial Investments, to construct a new garage and request variances to the zoning bylaw 2006 125. Section 6.3, table 6.2, so, so, rear yard side setback. Required 10 meters, proposed 4.1 meters, requiring a variance of 5.9 meters. Table 6.3, section 6, section 6.3, table 6.2, interior side yard setback, 5 meters, proposed 2.8 meters, requiring a variance of 2.2 meters. Section 6.3, table 6.3, lot coverage, maximum 8%, proposed will be 10.2%, requiring variance of 2.2%. And section 6.3, table 6.3, lot coverage within 60 meters, maximum 8.8%, the existing is 8.3%, and the proposal would be 11.4%, requiring variance of 3.4% or 3.1% greater than the existing coverage. Subject to the following conditions, that the owner applies for and obtains a building permit within two years of the date of decision of the Committee of Adjustment. Are there any questions? All in favor? And that is carried. Thank you, Chair, to the committee. With uh, the rendering of that decision, the 20-day appeal period is now in effect. Okay, um, that takes us to other business. Is there any other business that we need to deal with? How are we looking for next month? Do we have some? Uh, Mr. Chair, I believe we have four at the moment. Uh, okay. The application deadline to submit is this Friday. So we'll see if we got a couple more. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else we need to bring up? Okay. Could I have a mover and seconder for a motion to adjourn? Carry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that the Committee of Adjustment for the Corporation of the Township of Sagan does hereby adjourn this hearing at 4.33 p.m. on Wednesday, April 14th, 2021, 
The committee will hold its next hearing at 4 p.m. on Wednesday, May 12, 2021, or at the call of the chair, unless the secretary treasurer has not received complete applications for committee consideration. All in favor? And thank you for coming. Thank you, Chair. Excellent job. <laughs> that was pretty quick for eight applications. So. I'm amazed. <laughs> Very quick. Yeah, I've seen less applications take mm -hmm. longer. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night.